Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. You are now tuned in with the king of sense. And if this is your first time joining me, look, I hope that you like my content. And if you do, hit that subscribe button, turn those bell notifications on to know when a brother uploads new videos. And if you know some other people who want to smell good, share my channel with them. I appreciate it. So look, let's get right into this review for today because I'm not here to waste nobody damn time. Today, we can be talking about a fragrance from Mason Alejandro. Now, Mason Alejandro is a clone house who go out and clone all these high-end fragrances to bring them to you on a budget. And they normally do a great damn job. Now, their presentations may be a little crazy sometimes, but their fragrance be on point. So today, we're talking about Galate. Yup, and you guessed it, man. They coming for perfumes, the Molly, Gold Dolphin. Now look, Gold Dolphin is a beast. If you never smell Gold Dolphin, go out and put your nose on that. But look, let's see how this stacks up to Gold Dolphin. Now as far as presentation, look. Man, look, it's there. Looks just like a Gold Dolphin bottle. This is a fingerprint magnet. But look, it's all about what this stuff smells like on the inside. So when you first spray this fragrance, man, you get a strong opening of alcohol. Now that is expected with these little cheap fragrances. You're only paying 20 bucks for this stuff. But on the dry down, you're gonna get you about 60% of the way. But in my opinion, this one does not stack up nowhere, no how to perfumes the Molly Gold Dolphin. Gold Dolphin is a creamy berry type of leather, man. It's luxurious. You're gonna be walking around smelling like James Bond. Now on this one, let me describe this to you a little bit. This smells like leather. It smells like Wilson's leather. It smells like a Wilson's leather that's been sitting in the closet fermenting for about two years. Very strong and harsh. If you like that type of leather, then look, by all means, go out and check this stuff out. But if you're looking for a high-end leather that's very smooth and creamy that smells like you're getting out of a Bentley or Rolls Royce, this is not it. This don't hit on none of my senses that I like in a leather. For me, this is a thumbs down. But for 20 bucks, man, look, go ahead and check it out. See what you like about it. See what you don't like about it. It's not gonna break the bank. It's only 20 bucks. And sometimes, man, look, you get what you pay for. This stuff does not stack up to PDM. This has a, like a very strong incense background to it. Very weird, harsh, Wilson's leather smell, man, that's been sitting in the closet for about two years. So you gotta be careful with this stuff right here. If you're looking for something smooth, this one is not it in the king's opinion, guys. I can't rock this stuff, man. So look, guess what I'm doing with this one? Get this out of here, man. I'm the king. I can't be walking around smelling like no goddamn Wilson's leather. Hey, look, man. You came in for an honest review, and that's what I gave you. I'm the king. Let me catch you on the next one.